Welcome to the Expat Guardians. We're gonna talk in this video about the legal residencies in Mexico. Come to me. Come to me. Come, 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 come. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how many legal residencies in Mexico are. And uh, most important thing, this is chapter number one. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come to the office. Are you going? Come, 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 come. Come, come. Let me tell you, in Mexico, in Mexico, there's four legal residencies in Mexico. Okay? One is the tourist visa. The second one is the temporary resident card. The third one is the permanent resident card. And the fourth one is the Mexican naturalization, when you become Mexican. And what is for the Mexican naturalization? You can buy property under your name on the restricted zone. That's very handy. Tourist visa, it looks like this. It's a little piece of carton that you will obtain as soon as you arrive to Mexico. And usually it's good for 180 days six months temporary and the permanent residency card is this one this is ooh, ooh. this is the temporary or permanent resident card the last one is the mexican naturalization where you will obtain a mexican passport okay now it's very important for you to know this come closer in Mexico, the temporary residency, you will have it for four years. One, two, three, and four years. When you can become a permanent resident? When? If you have a son or a daughter, a descendant, automatically you will become a permanent resident. What is the difference, the main difference between the permanent and the temporary residency? is that the permanent is for life. And the temporary is by time you will obtain the permanent resident. You got me? Great. Muy bien. So you can obtain, if you have a son or daughter, you can jump directly to the permanent residence without passing through the temporary. If you have one year, you have to wait two, three, or four years in order to jump into the permanent. But if you are married to a Mexican person, in two years, you can become permanent. This is the first chapter of the legal residencies in Mexico. You're gonna look on the second chapter and on the third chapter, what is exactly the temporary visa, the permanent and the Mexican naturalization. For now, now done. So, don't hesitate to contact us right here, right here on our YouTube channel. And on that YouTube channel, you have to click on the subscriber book. Click there and you will receive a lot of information about immigration, about how to buy a land, how to put a business, how to behave in Mexico. Behave. For now, this is out. And uh, see you on the next video. Adiós y que Dios los bendiga.